Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 315. You know, have a lot of guys doing the new regional workouts coming out, doing that chipper, hitting that chipper. Myself, I try to hit it as well. Um, whenever we're doing a whole bunch of GHDs, 100 plus GHD sit-ups, we have a tendency to fry out this whole anterior chain, specifically hip flexors and this groin area where we have our obliques and our psoas muscles which is in there as well. Now, when we do high, high volume GHD sit-ups, what tends to happen the most is we fry out our psoas. Our psoas muscle is the primary hip flexor. It's responsible for flexing a bent knee. Now, the mechanism of kind of overload looks like this. Initially, when we start doing our GHD sit-ups and practice, pretend that I'm going all the way back, is you see good good contraction of the abdominal muscles. So you see this flexed back come up, this flexed torso come up. What happens as people get fried out, this definitely happens to me as well, is they start dragging this non-flexed torso. So this is the flexed torso. They start dragging their torso up like this. So they have this big hyper arched back backwards and they kind of just drag it up. And when they do that, it's all hip flexor. It's all flexion of a bent knee. The only thing that's different is now my, my knee is stationary and I'm bending my torso up to it. So that's how we fry out the hip flexors. How do we take care of them? Get ourselves uh, a large ball. I got the alpha ball here. It's a large mobility ball, something that's larger than that. Um, than that lacrosse ball that we tend to use, okay? Now, I got myself on a table. You guys can use boxes. What we want to do is we put one finger on our belly button and one finger on that little pointer bone. And we're going to allow the ball to just meet in between our two fingers. So when the line goes across like this, we're going to spend some time in here. Now, if you make an abdominal muscle, okay, I want you to go just to the outside of that so that way we can get in there deep into that tissue. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a bench in which we can hang our leg off of, okay? And that's where the ball is going to be kind of at. What I'm going to start to do is I'm just going to allow my hip to roll off this. I'm going to start little tiny circles, okay? Each time I bring my leg backwards, I'll put pressure and that drive that ball into my stomach here, okay, where you guys can't see it any longer. But where it is, is it's right there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time mashing out this psoas tissue by doing some little circles with my hip off the table, okay. As I do that, I don't have to go all the way up really, really high and cause myself this extra contraction of abdominal tissue, okay? I don't need to do that. I just need to use those little circles with our leg. And each time that ball bump into that psoas muscle as it contracts. Once I do that, I want to go right into the cobra position. So I do each side about 30 circles each direction. So that's 60 circles total. Circles don't take that long at all. And then, I'm going to do opposite side and go right into my TV watching and then cobra position here, right? So TV watching positions here, cobra position there. If I want to make that harder, I just flex my knees and bring my, my uh, heels towards my buttock, okay? And that's how I do that there. That little gambit of getting the ball into the psoas and then getting into that couch stretch, moving it on to uh, the, the cobra type stretch, that should help take care of this anterior abdominal area, hip flexor area. That will get burnt out with uh, these upcoming regional workouts. Guys, I hope that helps you out. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.